Welcome back to Survival, everybody. This is episode four. So on the previous episodes, while well, we got our greenhouse up, we have our honey pallets that are actually going to spawn right here. We got a little, one crate already, which is great news. And we put our field in. We got that plowed up. I think it's going to take us a little while to start getting this field, like, up and running. Because we just have a lot of stuff we need to buy. We only have $10,000. Uh, we could buy a cedar right away and start getting that going. But I think what we need to do is do a contract today so we can get some cash. I was looking in the sales. Look at this. This buys, buys in here. $12,000. You know what the regular price of that is? 31000 So that is a steal right there. If it's still there, time we get the contract done. We could take a loan out, but I'm not going to try to do loans on this playthrough. I do want to probably go the skid steer route, I think, and then just get attachments for that so we can have our pallets, and then we'll have our stump grinder here as well, which would be great, unless we should just get a bigger tractor. And so let's take a look at the contracts. We actually have field 9, it looks like, has a double rake, which would be great. We got to wrap the bales. Make silage and then take the bales to the biogas plant, which is actually really close to field nine. Field nine's right here. Biogas plant is, I think it's actually this one over here. So it's actually really close, which would be great. So let's go ahead and accept that we may do more than just that one as well. But let's go ahead and just get started on that. He'll borrow the items and then we'll uh, go get started. Of course, we got the Kubota M8. Actually, they gave us a nice tractor for this. I was expecting like a M6 or 7. But we got an 8. So I guess we'll start cutting. First things first. They gave us kind of two different cutters. I don't know why they gave us the narrow tires too. That's kind of weird. Yeah, so we'll have to rake it, bale it, and then uh, wrap them. So it's a little extra steps. We'll see if it's worth it time we're done. Again, it's really close to our destination. And we're right here. So, kind of a goofy looking field though, because especially with this kind of a cutter. But we'll make the best out of it. See what happens here. Turn her on, drop her down. Turn her on, drop her down. All right. We'll see what happens. They're probably gonna hit every pole. <laughs> I think I'm gonna kind of stay in a little bit and not get too close to the guardrail because it's just gonna be a lot of uh, running into things. I think, like I said, kind of. Maybe not the best two attachments to try to do something like this. Well, this is really thin right here. I think it actually won't take too long to get through this. It's actually quite a small patch. But it will take us a little extra process to uh, make these into wrap bales. Alright, so I think uh, I'm going to get cracking here and we'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, we're gonna try not to worry about that steep hill part there. Actually, it went fairly quickly. I think we'll park this stuff over here just in case we need to do a little bit more. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. The rake should go quick. Depending on how things work, I'm not real big on this. Like I said, those two mowers. 
but if we go in a straight line, it'll be pretty easy. So maybe we can pick up another contract and use the same equipment. At least I think you're able to do that. Because I haven't seen it. Can't say I've tried that yet, so. Yeah, this uh, rake, I think, is the most important part about this contract. That's why I want to, if we do get another one, we can use the same rake here. Which makes it really easy. Instead of the single row. We're just going to be hitting people's uh, signs. <laughs> Try to get most of it, I guess, but see what happens. Shouldn't take us too long either. Make a pretty penny off this, and then we should buy that harvester, I think. And then we got to get our cedar. Really want to get a skid steer, but I suppose we could wait until maybe we find one in the sales. Alright, so I just came to the realization that our bales are too big. We can only go to 150 for that wrapper. We'll check again after we get one out here, but yeah, so I'm glad I just thought of that as soon as I popped that bale out there. Obviously, bigger is better so you don't have to ha drop so many bales, but we gotta wrap it. We can only do size 150. You definitely have to be paying attention to what the uh, contract consists of and what your equipment is and not just assume that you can get away with using the bigger ones okay we'll drop this and I just want to double confirm that this size will work, it should pop that off alright don't want to make them bigger mistake and we can't get anything for this contract we'll have to uh maybe we can sell that bale ourselves I hope we can still complete the contract we ain't really going to be getting that many bales that's why it's like <laughs> kind of critical that we make sure we're doing it right okay should work I think let's turn it on maybe oh we gotta There we go. It would be right in front of it. Okay, good. I was sweating bullets there for a second. Gotta make sure this works correctly. Alright. So, bale two. We'll just leave it on 150. And we'll get a couple more out here. Last one wrapped here. 
And we'll go grab our forks. And we'll see where we have to drop these at the biogas plant. I hope it's enough to complete the contract. There really isn't a whole lot of grass left. There was a little bit on that hill yet. I guess we could have gotten on just a little bit around here, I suppose. Probably just use the front attachment if we have to. But I hope we can uh, squeeze through and make it work here. Oops, we're going the wrong way in a roundabout. At least they give us two forks. This makes it nice and easy. We'll take four up there at once. That's super helpful. I actually kind of like these uh, bale holders too because they work pretty well. Once you fold them in, they like lock in place and then you don't have to worry about bales flying away on you and all that stuff. So that can always be a problem when you're doing bales. If we can complete it with these wrapped ones... And we have that extra one we can just, we'll have to sell that at the, uh, I suppose the bale cell area or somewhere. We'll have to look into that when we get to it. This might be a little difficult with this size. That ain't go too bad, I guess. Yeah, we could maybe probably try to get that field seated today too, depending on if we're going to do another contract or not. It, would, might, it might be nice to do that since we got the equipment. A good baler. Oh, that bale on the left is real small, but the one on the right is a bigger one. Yeah, the bigger ones are kind of tricky to get. That's it's possible it's just it's not the easiest thing here See if it helps going in first person. Be kind of difficult here. It's being difficult. Trying not to. There we go. Probably the hill too. It kind of makes it. There we go. Yeah, I could kind of see why we should have maybe stuck with the small bales. It takes longer to get them on. We'd have a couple deliveries by now. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that we should stick with the small ones if we're going to be using these forks. That doesn't work so well with big ones. It's very difficult. Actually, what does these forks recommend? Uh, it doesn't even say. But yeah, I would stick with the small bales, I guess, for the these holders. Okay, so we got to get up to the biogas plant. Does it say... What we have to do, take the bales to biogas plant 99 kilowatt. Well, let's just head up there. I'm pretty sure it's up here. I guess it is the exclamation mark. Oh, there it is. Couldn't see the big green strip behind the trees. Looks like we have to open the gate here. Get them open for business. Let's see, and we got to, I was going to say, don't tell me we got to dump it in a bin. Did we bring it here? I don't know if it'll take it right there either. Let's see what happens. We do have to unfold it. Okay, it's not working, <laughs> so I have a feeling 
we need to dump it into the bin. Which, if that's the case, this is not going to work the way I planned. They should have really thought about that when they made these contracts. Uh, let's go ahead and try to dump one in here. We're going to have to use super strength. There's no way around it. Did that count? Still in here. Okay, so I just did some research and it appears that other people are having problems as well with this contract on this map, so I don't see anywhere to stick this. I don't even think we can buy this biogas plant, can we? Maybe we don't see the trigger to buy it until we finish the contract or something, but yeah, I don't see anywhere to put the silage bales, so what we're going to do is we're just going to have to reimburse ourselves that money and take it as a loss, or not take it as a loss, but... We'll have to cancel the contract. And, uh, well, let me see what we get for these bales. Lizard CR is right up there. We'll go try that and see if it works over there. Yeah, we'll have to stay away from the biogas contracts on this uh, playthrough, I guess. It is what it is. Some uh, map creators don't do the QA on their maps, I guess. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, let's drive up on the platform here and hopefully this works hopefully the grinders are on doesn't necessarily mean anything but looks like it's gonna wiggle its way off it works, it works. If it don't... Oops, oops. <laughs> well, the good news is it took them, I guess. 4,002. Yeah, this is where the contract should have had us go. I mean, it shouldn't have had us. I wonder if that was the end of the contract and now it's not accepting the rest of these bales. What we could do is grab the other ones, we'll bring them up here and then we'll see if those work. If not, we'll f then we'll cancel the contract and then sell the rest of them. Alright, let's go grab the rest! I guess it was just basically the one more here. Which again, this is still, it's hard to get these on. We should have, gotta stick with the small bales for this. I definitely didn't want to cheat too much on this using super strength, but kind of have no choice. Now the bale on the back, I think is going to have to go to the animal dealer, because I don't think, let's see, that's grass. Well, it goes to the waste collection area too, we'll tag that. Same place, I guess. See what happens. Okay, let's see if we can stick the the grass in this bin here. Yes, we can. And then we'll bring this bale up to the top. I think maybe those ain't accepting, like I said, because it's full. We can pop them in later at a different point through the playthrough, I guess. If it don't work... Yeah, they're full. We did get a little bit to go through though. So what we'll do... Which is weird because it's not showing it as full. We'll just set them right here so we can... We'll put them on end so they don't go crazy on us. And then we'll pop them in at a different point when we remember. I'm sure we'll be back here again. Okay, so what we'll do is complete that contract. Oh yeah, we gotta hit collect too to, com to close it out. There we go. I was wondering why it was blinking on the map. Okay, so now we're, we're good. Okay, so I think we got to 
buy this harvester. <laughs> We're going to have to do it because it's on sale and it is what it is. A little banged up, but... Let's see if we can... I think we'll go with that one. Cabin. So it's black or red. We'll just keep it red. Covers. What is that? On the bottom. We'll go with no rubber mat. I assume that's inside. Yes, it is. Let's keep that on. That doesn't cost us anything. Pipe cover. Wow, there's just, there is some customization. Yeah, let's keep that on. And then we can actually change the color, too. I might go with the blue. The chopper, then you have to change the blue, too. Yeah, let's do blue. I wonder if the uh, the header for this, so you can change the color, too. Otherwise, it might look kind of weird. This is just black or white. I guess that beige is fine. Okay, that's it, then. So it cost us 12000 one, two, one. We'll buy that. And we'll hold off on getting the header for it, I think. Let's see if we can go to combinations and see what the header is. So yeah, there's a 4.2 and a 3.3. I'll probably go with the 3.3. Um, although you're not saving a whole lot of money, but... Or should we buy it right now? I think we'll hold off on buying it. Because we do want to get that skid steer so we can get those stumps grinded up as well. But it's going to cost us some. Like I said, unless it comes up in the sales. Well, the cheapest one is this 35. I'm worried that the pallets might get heavy for that, but we could give it a shot and then always sell it later and get this Kubota with the weights too. But 35 is quite a bit of a cash right now from where we're at. So I think we'll hold off on that. Maybe, like I said, it'll come up in the sales. Let's go ahead and buy that cedar. I think we will go ahead and seed the ground. We do have... We should have crop destruction or uh, withering off. I think we'll turn periodic plowing off. Crop destruction and the withering. Okay, it turns on the ground. Okay, yeah, so withering's off, so we're good. So we can go ahead and plant and not even pick them for a while. Let's go ahead and buy that cedar. It should have been fairly cheap. It was an old school one as well. Yeah, this guy here. Definitely nice and cheap. 15 horse. Let's customize this. We got reflectors. Decals. Yeah, let's leave all that on. I think... Should we leave it gray? Or should we change it to like a rusted... Yeah, let's leave it at gray. I think. Let's just leave it right there. Okay, so we'll buy that. That's pretty cheap. We gotta get a uh, bag of seeds as well. Big bags. Seeds. One's good. Done. Alright, so let's get our tractor. Oh, here's our combine. I wonder if we should run this back home. Or if we should just... We probably should. We'll drive it over there. But check this thing out. Ooh, she sounds... She sounds nice, too. Let's head. Ooh. It's gonna take a little time to get there, but we'll get there. Holy moly, this thing goes having a hard time going up this hill. He's old. Alright. Now we're back on a roll. I think I kind of like that we went with the blue. Not used to the color scheme like that. Kind of get a nice little difference. Home sweet home. Alright, we made her. Guess what we'll do is just park this over here. For now, we'll have to get our 
sheds put up after we get a lot of more money. It's definitely not a priority right now. Shut her down here. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe we should have left that over until we got a header for it, but... It's there to remind us we got it. So now we gotta run back over and grab our cedar. Fill it up with seed. And then we gotta choose a crop. And get into the ground. Looks like our train is still stuck in the spot. That's after saving, leaving, and coming back. Still having trouble on that hill. If we ever have to call that... Actually, I don't think it delivers anywhere. Because it just loops on this map anyway. So I don't think we ever have to use it. If we ever did, we'd probably have to call it from the back side though. So it'd go in reverse. But I don't think uh, we can... Okay, so actually it looks like you can rent the train on this back side here, so it would hopefully come back. You can rent it over here as well. I'm just trying to figure out... Okay, so I've been doing some thinking. I think what we're going to do is we'll do barley because I feel like we get the most yield out of that. We'll obviously have to turn off our swath drop because we don't have a baler. And we don't really want to deal with uh, all that. Unless we would get a forge wagon and maybe dump that. We could maybe look at getting a forge wagon. That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. But uh, one step at a time here, I guess. So we should be able to... This is like a passive, so we just... There's nothing to turn on. We just drop. And away we go, I believe, here. Let's double check our... Ground state. So we were supposed to put lime on the field, but I'm not going to... Go too crazy. I suppose we almost should have did that. Oh, we got this guy here. This holds... Well, 330 if we get the big one. Oh, we have this here, too. Two th 200. This one might be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll leave all these defaulted. We'll see if this works. It should, I hope. 600 bucks. Now we got re reimbursed $100. And, uh, yeah, 200 liters. Seven meter spread. We'll go with that. Like I said, it's kind of foolish, I guess, not to do it. We do have the cash, and it's not that expensive. I guess we'll just leave this here. And then we'll run back and... Actually, we should probably grab the pickup. This would be a perfect time to... To take the pickup truck. It should hook up to that hitch, I think. Because this is just a regular... We can sell this piece of wood, too, while we're at it, I guess. It's been sitting in the truck for a while. Strap it in, I guess. And then we'll unhook our trailer. Let's see what it's gonna be worth here. I can't imagine it's gonna make or break us. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> I guess it's better than nothing. This should hook right up to the back of the hitch here. I hope. Yes. Look at that. So what we need to do is buy some lime. I think I'm going to ask and see if they can uh, put it on the back of the truck for us too. That's the least they can do since we bought it. We'll fill her up, I guess, right away. I should probably be careful that we don't put the seat in there because I think that was on our accepted things as well. There we go, lime to the top. And I'm gonna go in and ask for assistance on loading these in the back of the truck. All right, assistance was greatly appreciated. We got them in. And our lime threader, spro <laughs> our lime thrower spreader thrower whatever you want to call it is full and ready to go so let's go ahead and head back home and we'll get this on the field what i think we're going to try to do since this is such a big rugged truck is we're going to just go ahead and try to spread with this i think we got to unfold it according to this 17 meter working with let's see if that works all right, unfolded. And I assume we just gotta turn it on. 
So let's give that a shot. Oh, it's actually working already. Okay, so it's not the biggest spread that I thought we were going to have. But with the truck here, we're making it work. Alright, that is it. Actually, what happens if we hook it back up and then hit refill? Hey, look at that, it works. <laughs> nice. Let's just keep it moving here. Yeah, I think this is a good idea to get this uh, purchased so we can get as much money as possible off this field. I gotta see if that actually is gonna work to put our wheat in that trailer we have. We can put sides on that, I believe. It's just like... I gotta fold that up so it doesn't run when we... We might be making a lot of trips, though, if we... ...end up having to use our trailer, so... Our small trailer. Alright, we'll just... either truck here and... We'll get back to seating. Interestingly, I think this uh, tractor is struggling a lot more on this than I thought it would. It actually went better plowing than it is seeding. Maybe that's just because it's the first rough patch since it was after we plowed. Just a theory. Alright, so I think that will just about do it for us on today's episode. All planted, ready to go. Let's check this out. Yeah, that's a lot better... Uh, yield bonus there. Still needs to be fertilized, so we'll have to look into that, possibly. Maybe on the next episode. What I think we'll do is take a nap, though, and get advanced to our next day here. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna need some sheds and whatnot. But like I said, that's definitely not priority right now until we can get some things moving. Yeah! So at least things are starting to look up. Like I said, I do really want to get that skid steer so we can get these stumps removed. They're kind of getting in the way and kind of look hideous. But thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next episode.